it's that mindset of mastery. When I was teaching high school percussion, this is like 2000, 2001, this is when I, that phrase came to me, and or at least those words, and it's the idea that everything you put your name on, you should try to do as great as you can. So that means in the business world, every spreadsheet and budget you do, triple, quadruple, check it, make it perfect, as perfect as you can. Every email, no punctuation, no this. When you, you know, are cooking, cook the most flavor familiar you can, right? When you're making love, make the most passionate love that you can. When you're practicing your instrument, practice as perfectly as you can. And so that your brand is associated with as high quality as you can, knowing that nobody's perfect. But for me, that word perfect is not like a promise of something that's never achievable. It's just like where my mind goes that I have trust in this perfect order that I'm gonna to try to just do this as great as I can. And so I think that is super huge. And mastery. This mastery. And even the idea that when I would get, at, I get called for a gig and I couldn't do it as a percussionist, well, you know, the insecure move is to suggest someone that may not be as accomplished as you, right? But that's not the right move. The mastery move is to call your mentor for the gig, right? Because you may lose the gig to your mentor. Most of the time you're not, but you may. But I'd much rather that person say, oh, I called Justin, he couldn't do the gig, but man, he got me this guy named Tom Rohde, and he killed it. It was amazing. Versus, yeah, he couldn't do it, and he got me this guy, and it's just, ugh, it didn't work out well. Sure. I, I don't want that. 